my name is Sufi Mohammed and today I'll be talking about the skeletal system and I will be referring this to rugby. Okay. Um, as I said, I'll be talking about rugby and uh, the skeletal system and, and the different classification of the joint and the function of the skeletal system. First I'll be talking about the function of the skeletal system then I'll be talking about the different classifications of the joint. Okay. Okay, the function of the skeletal system. The, uh, the skeletal system contains um, 206 bones and the vital function are movement, protection, support, uh, blood protection and shape. This helps us survive. Um, and a rugby player has to exercise every day to decrease the chance of getting uh, injured. So let's move on to movement. Um, movement is the, um, when muscles contract and the skeleton, uh, and the skeleton moves. Okay, so we'll be referring this to rugby. Rugby players will need to move around on the pitch to pass, either to pass or run with the ball, um, etc. Protection. 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 Uh, sternum and the cranium usually protect the um, uh, internal organs such as the brain. The, the cranium and uh, the cranium uh, protects the brain and the sternum protects the heart and the um, liver. Uh, rugby players will need. Uh, rugby players usually use this protection to survive when they collide and stuff like that. They usually use uh, extra headgears as well uh, support. Support um, holds our body upright and your vital organs will be held in place. And referring to rugby, uh, players have to be strong to support um, vital organs in, in uh, uh, vital organs in place so the rugby player does, just doesn't move, uh, just doesn't collapse. Um, blood protection. Blood protection. Blo bone marrow contains two types of blood protections. Red blood cells carries uh, oxygen. White blood cells protects against um, infection, infections. Shape. The skeleton, uh, the skeleton plays a big part of our size, shape and height. It determines if we are short or tall. And in rugby, uh, your, your, uh, your height, it's a powerful thing for the player. So, um, so if you're tall, um, you'll be powerful and you'll be playing as a props. And if you're short and fast, you'll be playing as, hooker, as a hooker. Okay, Axel. Axel, uh, middle, uh, middle part of the, skin, uh, the skeleton that doesn't move. This is the skull, the sternum, ribcage, and vertical. Rugby player use the axial as protection usually. Okay, appendicular. Appendicular are bones that can, uh, can move around, like the limbs, the lower limbs, the shoulder, the girdle, and the pelvic uh, girdle. Players in rugby use these bones when they are throwing and catching the ball. If the player is uh, tackling and his bones are weak, they will most likely get injured. Uh, the type of joints, there are six types of joints. This is the hinge, uh, pivot, ball socket, saddle, uh, condyloid, and gliding. Okay, hinge. Hinge is a common class of synovial joint that include, including uh, the ankle, elbow, and knee joint. Rugby players usually use this when, uh, when he's kicking the ball and throwing the ball. And pivot. Pivot is a joint that allows the ball to rotate, for example, at a tenuloxal uh, joint and proxial radial ulnar joint. Okay, rugby player has to move his neck around uh, on the pitch for, to look out for uh, other players. Um, ball socket, ball and socket. A um, ball and socket joint is a joint located in the hip and shoulder. This allows them to do all type of movements such as flexion and extension, abduction and, and abduction ro and rotation. Rugby players use this joint when they are throwing the ball. Saddle joint. Saddle joint is located in the thumb 
the movements are like inflection and extension and abduction and abduction. Rugby players need to use this um, to this they need to need to use the saddle joint and so they need to hold their arrow and rugby point in position for the from condyloid. Condyloid is where the bone and socket is joint and the hinge are formal and together they connected via a bone shape fit, that fits into a hello. An example of this is when the uh, tibia and fibula met to torso, uh, met to torso and uh, bone. Condyloid allows you to add a bit of extra curl and power to the bone. Gliding. Gliding is when two flat um, bones slide um, each other. Rugby players need to minimize this by being careful when they are going into tackles. Classification of joints. Uh, classif there's three types of sections freely movable joints, slightly movable joints, and fixed joints. Freely movable joints, also known as synovial joint, this is found in the hip and the knee joint. This, uh, this also contains synovial fluid, which results into no pain. Results in no pain when both uh, of the joints are rubbed together. Slightly movable joint. This is this joint is found where bones are held together. Cartilage. This allows a little movement in the spine and the vertebral uh, vertebrate column. Uh, fixed joint. Fixed joint, also known as immovable joint, they are connected by fibrous um, tissue. Example of this is cranium. Uh, this is my reference. Uh, this is another page of my reference. And thank you for listening to my um, presentation.